In this video, I'm going to do a quick review of the book Person of Interest by J. Warner Wallace. And stay with me to the end because I want you to hear from Jim himself how he explained to me why Jesus still matters in a world that rejects the Bible. Hey, if we're just meeting, I'm your apologetics guy, Mikel Del Rosario. And on this channel, I help Christians get clear answers to tough questions. And I also do some book reviews that can help you have better spiritual conversations with people who see Christianity differently. So if that sounds interesting to you, if you want to level up your interactions this year, please consider subscribing. Now, before we jump into my review of Person of Interest, I want to unbox this promo pack that I got from the publisher. Check it out. Person of Interest, why Jesus still matters in a world that rejects the Bible. Now, the first thing that strikes me is you get this notebook thing, and it has Person of Interest with their URL and this nifty little magnifying glass. It's kind of like a manila folder. A few people know that Jim Wallace actually draws all of these because he is a good illustrator. Complimentary video study, we'll have to check that out. And audiobook, very cool. And inside this we have a whole poster. And then we have the book proper. Fuse the fallout will identify the film. So this reminds me a lot of the Cold Case Christianity books. He had three of them that kind of had this same kind of uh, shape to it with the drawings. He spent a lot of time making these drawings. Now this video isn't sponsored, but I did get this book for free from the publisher and it's $17.99 on Amazon. The Kindle version is just $9.99 and I think you can get the audio free on Audible. What I liked is that it's a very creative approach, not only looking into the ancient evidence, but pushing forward even into the modern times to see the impact of Jesus. It's something anyone can get, so it's perfect for beginners who are just getting into apologetics. Jim fills out some detail in the case notes as well, so you can begin your own research. I really like that about this book. Now, what didn't I like about this book? What I didn't like as well, I hate end notes. It's kind of a standard thing with popular books now, but it still annoys me to have to flip to the back and figure it all out. It just interrupts the flow of the whole book. Also, I would have loved to have seen his drawings in color, especially when it comes to overlaying things. But now I want you to hear from Jim himself how he explained to me why Jesus still matters in a world that rejects the Bible. Why does Jesus still matter in a world that rejects the Bible? Ask yourself what matters. Then ask yourself, how did we get here in those areas that still matter to me? And you'll probably find that you're in a, steeped in a world that has been so deeply touched by Jesus, the worldview he inaugurated, and the people who followed him and enacted that worldview, that the things you value that you never even know or knew were indebted to Jesus are indebted mm -hmm. to Jesus. So if you said, well, spirituality is important to me, well, I'll tell you what, do you realize that pretty much every theistic worldview hat tips Jesus? They've included Jesus in their worldview in some way. If it's not that, if it's science, well, you know what? All the major sciences were founded and fathered by Christ followers. I'm sorry, it's just true. Um, okay, if, if you think it's education, well, you realize that modern universities are were founded by Christ followers. I mean, do you realize that every modern, the top 15 universities in the world today were all founded by Christians? If you think the arts have not been impacted, but no one's inspired more art than Jesus. No one's inspired more music than Jesus. No one's inspired more literature than Jesus. Whatever area you think is it matters to you today, mm -hmm. it turns out you can thank probably the history of Christianity for getting us where we got to be so that you got to have that interest. Yeah. That's why he is history's most important person of interest, because whatever interests you, is probably indebted to him. If you're getting some value from this video today, please hit that like button so more people can see it. Also, I'll link to the book and the audiobook below so you can check them out, check out the samples, read the reviews, and see if it's right for you. I'm your apologetics guy, Mikkel, and until next time, keep the faith.